everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your cardio agility workout. This is day 20 of your October Athlete Challenge, and today we are going to get cardio conditioning like an athlete. We will get some agility, some quickness, some speed drills, but don't worry, I'm gonna give you tons of different options to work to your level. You don't need any equipment, it's all body weight. We will start with a low impact version of the move. We will progress from there in intensity and also in time. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, starting with a warm up, march it or jog it, whatever feels best for you to get those muscles warm and ready to go. Let's roll those shoulders, start small. Take it a little bigger to the back and then let's take it to the front. So cardio agility today, it is going to be a fun one, y'all. So get excited. Let's take it one at a time. So similar to our cardio conditioning that we did earlier this month for October Athlete, it's going to be a similar form up. We're going to start with, big deep breath in with 15 seconds of a low impact version of a move. Let's take those arms out and, out and wide. Then we will get 15 seconds rest. Then we will get 30 seconds where we up our intensity. Sometimes that will be higher impact. Sometimes that will be higher intensity by adding on. But as always, I will give you options. Then we will have 45 seconds of a higher intensity, more of a challenge for that. And again, it will vary in how we increase that intensity. So 15 seconds, low impact, 30 seconds, a little more challenging, 45 at the top. You always have the option, reach it down, reach it up, of staying with the low impact. You know, I will always tell you to do what is best for you, you do you. If you're able, speaking of, Walk it out to that inchworm. Hold that core, get that core fired up. Walk it back a few at your own pace. So there will always be options. We will get a quick little breather in between our progressions, but then we will also use that first 15 second interval as a little bit of active recovery. Let's do this one more time and then hold it out right here. So core is engaged if you're able Push up into that down dog, back to center. You can take this from knees too, or again, just stay upright. <sighs> Breathe, two more just like this. Really stretch through those hips, through those arms. Last one. <sighs> and then walk it back right here. Ha! Tap those hips back, reach those arms forward. So the goal, of course, is cardio to get that heart rate up. Drop into a little bit of a lunge if that feels okay for you. And then let's hold it here. We're gonna reach over to one side, back to center, bring it up, reach over, back to center. Adding on from here, take it down. You can either just keep it here or drop that hand down, take that hand up, drop that knee, open up the hip three times. At your own pace, you can keep this standing as well. Bring it in, take it back, reach, take it down, take it up, drop the knee. The goal is cardio conditioning. We wanna get that heart rate up, step it in one more time each way. But our goal is also agility. So what do we mean with agility? We mean footwork, we mean quickness, we mean balance. All of those things that we think of for athletes, but also that we need in our everyday life, right? We wanna be able to move well, we wanna be agile, we wanna have good mobility so we can get through life, right? We may not need, bring it up, roll it up, tap and reach across. We may not need super quick feet like a basketball player or a soccer player does, but we certainly need it if you're me to keep up with your toddlers, in your job, to be able to react quickly. That helps prevent injuries, falls, things like that. Good balance, good agility, good mobility is beneficial for everybody. Reach it over. So, a little bit longer of a warm up, just in the sense that we're gonna be pushing hard. If something feels like too much, again, I will always remind you safety first. So, there's gonna be some quick footwork here. 
I don't want you to feel like it's so confusing for your brain that you don't feel as safe. You stick with what is best for you. As a reminder, I want you to be where you are today and you do you. If you showed up today, you are successful. All right, so shake everything out. We're gonna start with our basic hamstring curls. So we're bringing those hamstrings up. When we add on, we're gonna go hamstring curls to the back, heel taps to the front. So we're opening up those hips. Then we'll take it all with a little hop step if you want. Are you ready? Let's get it done. Three, two, one. Hamstring curl, 15 seconds, low impact. Move number one for that 15 second interval is always your base move. This is where we get a feel for the motion and you can always stay with this one if you want. Three, two, one, relax. 15 seconds to breathe. Now we're adding on to the back and to the front, heel to heel. So right, left, right, left, tap them, tap them. In three, two, one, core engaged. Here we go. Back and back, front and front back and back so if you'll notice I'm pulling my elbows to the back on the hamstring curl I'm tapping if I can in the front if you want to get fancy you can tap and tap tap and tap but don't think too hard on it it's a lot right it's gonna be a brain workout today too guys we know that's good for us one more yes relax Team. so we got 45 seconds remember these intervals are kind of like half a pyramid going up then we get a breather and go to our next move now we're gonna do that back and back front and front if you want to add a little hop step to it you can or low impact here we go so hop, hop, and tap tap again you can come behind with it tap tap and up and up Woo! yes breathe you got 45 seconds and remember that we got that breather coming. So this is where you earn that rest. We want that last 45, whatever it is for you, even if you're just right here with those hamstring curls, to go all out because you got a rest coming. Keep it going. Up and up. Tap and tap. 10 seconds. Up, up. I know it feels like a lot. Last one. And breathe, 30 seconds to breathe. Catch your breath if you need it. You can always grab a quick sip of water in between. Breathe. All right, team. So we're taking it to a little side step. Watch me, just side to side. Moving laterally, I want you to shift your weight, push out of it, really get a little movement to it. Then we'll take it to a little hop with that knee off the ground if we can. Then a double hop, I'll talk you through it. Here we go, 15, side to side. So low impact, you can also just pull. Doesn't really matter what you do with your arms. A lot of times I'm gonna add a little bring that elbow up. Relax, good, because that sometimes helps. That's your low impact version. Now if you can, if you want, little hop, keep that knee up. So a little bit of balance or hop with that toe down Either way, we want a little intensity and balance. Here we go, 30 seconds. Up, up. Again, if you wanna keep it low impact, but drive the knee up, that's an option. Or if you wanna keep it with a little hop step, but keep the toe down, also an option, right? 10 seconds to go. And then we get that last interval, right? And breathe. Three, two, one, yes. 15 seconds to breathe. All right, team, this is it. Here's what we're gonna add. Hop and hop, hop and hop. You can tap the toe down if you need to. Here we go. Take a hop, hop. So it's a double hop, side to side. And again, I'm just using my arms, low impact. You can keep it here, or again, go to that base level and breathe. If you want to put that toe down in the back and up, it's almost like a skater and hop, right? Here we go. Whoo, and breathe. 15 seconds. Ah. Yes. 
close your brain. Three, two, that was to me. One, and breathe, 30 seconds to breathe. Nice work team. So, your brain's gonna get a workout, but if you need to slow down your body movements to really think about it, okay, side, hop, go for it. Otherwise, just move. Stay safe, keep moving, that's the name of the game. All right, let's get into it. We're gonna do our in and out. You know this one, we're going out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Starting with just a march, 15 seconds, here we go. Right, left, right, left, or maybe opposite for you. Left, right, left, right. Again, I'm pumping my arms. This is your active recovery. Five seconds to go. Get a feel for the movement in your body and breathe. All right, team, you know what's coming. Little bit of a run. We're gonna keep it grounded. Right, left, right, left. In three, two, one. Here we go. Run, run, quick, 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 quick. Imagine you're running in and out of tires, right? If you wanna pick up your pace, you can, but think quick feet. Low impact is just that first version. You always can go back to version one if that's better for you. As long as you're moving. All of these workout, all of these exercises, three, two, one, relax. All of them are gonna work your agility and your quickness and your balance. Whether you're going fast or high impact, it doesn't matter. All right, team, if you can, bring it down to a bear plank. You're on your knees. We're gonna do all of that out, out, in, in, from this plank in three, two, join me down here. Here we go. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Your knees stay right beneath your hips. I know it's tempting to keep them out here because that might feel a little easier, but we want to keep them here to keep that core engaged. If you don't want to be in a plank or that doesn't feel good, you keep it up on your feet. Up to you. You got about 20 seconds to go. Keep those knees in close. Out, out, in, 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 out, out. Ooh. Yes! Breathe. Core is working. Straighten up those arms. Push your hands into the mat away from your body. Keep that upper body working. Keep that core going. Five, four, three, two, breathe. Ha, ah, little stretch right here, right? In those hip flexors. Water, if you need it. Yes, team. All right, quick sip. Guys, you're doing great so far. I know it moves quickly from one to the next to the next, but you can do it. All right, we're taking it to a basic squat. You know it. We're just squatting. Then we're gonna make it a little turn squat. Then we're gonna make it a jump. Super simple, good squat motion. Here we go, 15, take it down, reach it up. If you can, touch the floor, reach it up. If you can't get as low in that squat, that's okay. Do what is best for you. You can also step it out, reach it up. Step it out, reach it up. Last one, good, relax. All right, 180 squat, here. Turn it, here, turn it. Your goal is to turn 180, but if you need to take more time to do it, you do you. Here we go, 30 seconds. Turn it, turn it, reach. So it's in that movement, right? This is what athletes do. They have to adjust their positioning quickly. We have to do that in life too. If I'm trying to grab one of my kids, I might have to turn quickly. We want our joints to be able to move freely through that. Let's get it done. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. All right, team. You can keep either version of that or you can add a little jump to it. We've got 45 seconds. Jump it if you can. Step it if you need to. Or regular squat. Just get it done. Here we go. Earn that rest. Quick, quick, right? Now you see why we do all these versions, because this is a different type of agility, right? Quick, 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 quick. It's like if you're a basketball player and you gotta switch, or a football player, or soccer, whatever it is, keep it going. Jumping it, it's gonna get a little more extra intensity, a little more burn in those quads, right? Are we feeling it? I think we are. Keep going. 10 seconds. To go, this is where it gets real, guys. I know, five, 
four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, yes. Catch your breath. All right, team, I know. Ah, shake them out. There we go. Things are starting to feel a little too easy, right? Okay, let's take it. We're coming in a high plank. If you need to stay on your knees, I want you to stay on your knees or just keep it standing. You can do a standing version of this. If you can, high plank. We're just tapping out right and left. Join me here. Three, two, one. 15 seconds. Out and in. So regular high plank, nice straight line. Think about your core engagement. Again, if you need to modify, you can take it standing to keep the core engaged. Three, two, one. Stretch. That heart rate is still up from those squat jumps, right? All right, team. Guess what we're adding? A little bit of a walk. So we're here. I'm gonna walk. One, two, one, two. Join me here, you got 30 seconds. So left arm, left leg, right arm, left arm, left leg, right arm, left leg. Four is engaged the entire time. Arms are working. Again, I know it's tricky to have a moving plank. You wanna stay standing. You can just go here. Not as much core, but you can still get that cardio. You do you. Yes, keep it going. Three, two, one, relax. All right, team, here's what we got. We're gonna move our hands and jump our feet. I know it's a little tricky, but you can do it. So join me here for 45. Let's get it done, earn that rest. Walk the hands, jump the feet. Walk the hands, jump the feet. You can figure out what works better. If you wanna go one hand jump, other hand, or hand, hand, jump. Hand, hand, jump. Either or. Could look like this, one hand jump, other hand. One hand jump. Or hand, hand, jump. Hand, hand, jump. Hand, hand, jump. Again, if you wanna keep it feet here. Push, push. Any option, guys, as long as you're moving your body. Get that core engaged. Five more seconds, earn that rest. Three, two, one. I know, bring it up, roll those wrists. It's a lot in that plank position, but you did it, and I am so proud of you. How about this, guys? Let's take a little longer rest, because we're about halfway there. Grab a quick sip. We're gonna take a minute. If you wanna keep it moving with just some step touches, go for it. Otherwise, we get five more moves, and that's it, team. Mm. How are we feeling? Check in with your body. You feel that difference in that heart rate, right? That is HIT training at its best. We start low impact, we increase that intensity. We really drive it home, we recover. Remember, the recovery in that 30 seconds is so important. So push yourself in that 45, again, whatever that looks like for you, so you can get that recovery, right? All right, team, we are starting with a transverse lunge. So we're gonna sit into a side lunge, step it forward, it's on the diagonal. Go ahead and join me here in three, two, one. Here we go, 15, transverse, push out. If that feels weird for you, we wanna be opening up the hip, but you can always take it to just a side lunge. I know sometimes the transverse feels a little weird, but just think about opening on the diagonal, opening up your hips, right? There we go, breathe. All right, 30 seconds, here's what we want, guys. Diagonal, center, reverse lunge. Other side, diagonal, center, reverse lunge. Don't think too hard, but let's get it done. Here we go, diagonal, back. Diagonal, up. Notice I'm using my knee, drive that knee up so I know that's the leg that goes back. Hit, back. It's a lot of moving parts. So again, if that feels weird for you, you can keep it just that regular side lunge or just the transverse in three, two, one, breathe. All right, team, a lot of things for your brain to think about. If you can, add a little knee hop to that. Side, knee, the hardest thing is that switch at the top. So come out of it, then switch your feet. Here we go, 45, transverse, lunge. Transverse, lunge, 
here, up, here, here, I know, transverse, back, drive it up, 20 seconds, again, the hardest part is right here, quick feet, quick feet, quick switch, right, you are an athlete, you can do this, whatever this looks like for you, if you need to take a step out, that's okay, we just want movement, we want a little intensity, earn that rest, in five, four, three, two, one, and breathe. I know, that was a lot, right? So we gave you that little breather before, shake it out. 20 seconds left to breathe. All right, team, so we got some high knees. We're here, we're going up, we're going up. Start with low impact, then we'll add a little hop step to it, but it's not this. I'm not trying to jump as high as I can. I'm trying to create that force, just like you might see an athlete doing as a warm up. Let's start here. Here we go. High knees, 15 seconds. Think about the force. Core is engaged. Drive that elbow up, drive that knee up. Here, two, one, rest. All right, you can keep it there. Or if you can, we're adding a little hop step. But watch my feet, it's grounded. Again, it's not as high as you can get. It's quick feet, it's agility. Let's get it done. Here we go. 30 seconds. So sometimes you see athletes, like maybe you were a track uh, athlete. You would do this on the track, right? Forward and back. If you wanna add that, if you have the space to do it, Go for it. We're gonna add on in that last round and you're gonna like it, I promise. Hup, hup. Drive it up, it's grounded. Four, three, two, one. Yes, catch your breath, right? All right team, last one. We're going up, out, up, and down. Up, out, up. Looks like this, hup, 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 and switch it. Let's get it done. Here we go, 45. Left, 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 right, right. Sorry, it's opposite for you. Right, right, right. Again, also something you might do down the court or down the track. Low impact, you can just be here, here, here. Hup, hup, hup. Or just your knees, low impact or just your knee jump. But let's get it done, 15 seconds. Core is engaged, posture is good. You're not just bouncing, it is intentional movement. And breathe. Earn that rest, 30 seconds. Let's get it done. All right, team. Breathe for a second. Here's what we've got. We're gonna do an L, right? So L, forward, back. L, forward, and back. Step on the inside leg to come forward and back. You're just stepping to start. Ready, here we go. Forward and back. Step, step forward and back. Lateral, forward and back. You can take it even slower if you need to. Three, two, one, breathe. All right, 30 seconds. You know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna add a little hop to it. So think of it as L and L. We're gonna get it done fast. In three, two, one. Step inside leg. Hop, hop, slide, breathe. Use whatever space you have. You know I remind you of this all the time. If you have a smaller space, you can still get it done. If you have more space, really slide it. Yes, good. There we go, and breathe. All right, team, guess what? We're gonna make it a little quick feet shuffle. Looks like this, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Use what space you got. Mine is pretty small, but let's get it done. 45 seconds, shuffle. Quick. Yes, as if you were an athlete 
in practice, you're touching the cones. I know that's a little tricky. If you want, a good option that I'm gonna do, shuffle, quick feet. So quick feet shuffle, and then big step forward. Shuffle, should've showed you guys that first. Shuffle, 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 hop forward and back. Shuffle, 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 forward and back. If you have a ton of space and you wanna shuffle all the way through, go for it. Again, as if we were in football practice. In five, four, three, two, breathe. You earned it. Catch your breath, team. Ah, right? What do we got? All right, guys. Here's the thing, catch your breath. Normally when we do a curtsy or a skater, we cross behind. We're gonna cross in front. If that is weird for your hips or your joints at all, I just want you to keep it regular. But we're stepping on the diagonal. We're gonna cross it over, step through. Are you ready? Let's get it done. Cross over. So cross over, push out of it. Cross over, push out. It's just a forward version of your curtsy. Remember on your curtsy, you end up in this position, right? So you're crossing forward, step into it. Step into it, cross it over. If you need to keep it forward, ha, ah, breathe. You're done. <laughs> Sorry about that, 15 seconds. All right guys, this time, push out of it. Push out of it. If that feels weird on that back leg, just keep the regular. Here we go. Push, push, up, cross, up, drive it up, drive it up. Yes, let's get it done, 30 seconds. Woo! Little bit of balance, I know, but you can do it, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. All right, team, now let's make it a regular skater, right? Let's just get it done. Forget what you just did in your brain. I know that was just to make those joints work. We got 45 seconds, skater, here we go. Tap behind. Tap behind. Whatever version of skater works for you. Low impact. Get a little lower or really jump it back and forth. But let's get it done. Earn that rest. Show me the athlete that you are because I know it's in there and we are so close to being done. So let's get it done. Huh. Skater, cross behind. Cross behind, hip to hip. Quick feet, quick feet. You can do it. 10 seconds, then we got that breather, so earn that rest. You are an athlete. I know it, that's why you're here. Three, two, one. Nice. All right, team, guess what? Last move. Let's get it done. Quick sip of water. This is all we need, guys. Woo! I know, right? Here we got quick feet. We're gonna march it. We're gonna run it, we're gonna add a burpee. 15, 30, 45, then rest. No bonus move, I'm gonna tell you right now. We're not doing it. We're just gonna really rock it on this last one. 15 seconds, quick feet march. Pump those arms, get the feet moving. Let's get it done, get it done, right? Whatever that is for you, low impact. Nice and light, pump those arms for three, two, one, yes. Quick feet, just like you're an athlete, a football player, soccer, basketball, they almost all do this quick. You're running it. Whatever intensity or impact is good for you, let's get it done. 30 seconds, nice and light, right? I like to pump those arms because it gives me something to do, but you certainly can just be here. Core is tight, posture is good, even though we're in that athletic stance. You're not slamming those feet down. You're just moving right, left, right, left, right, left as quickly as you can and you got 10 breathe yes we're gonna mix it up in that last round don't worry three two one done all right team guess what you got quick feet for four burpee down and up it's up to you if you want to go full burpee all the way down or if you want to just pop it back or keep it upright it's up to you 45, last thing, quick feet, three, two, one. Down and up, quick, three, two, one. Down and up, quick. 
for three, two, one, jump and up. Three, two, one, drop it down, take it up. Keep it going, we are so close. And up, get a little bit of extra upper and core. You can do it. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, 10 seconds. Are you with me? You are, yes you can. Don't let your brain talk you out of this last five, four, three, two, one. You did it. Tab it out. Breathe, yes. I know guys, I know. I'm feeling it too. Cardio conditioning. Remember, be where you are today, but push yourself in a way that works for you. Remember to see that change. We have to get a little bit uncomfortable. <sighs> Show up, move your body. That is all that matters. But again, that was hard because that was hard. I'm always gonna remind you of that. Ooh, take those legs out wide. Take it down here, roll those shoulders. <sighs> you worked for it. You earned it. I don't care if you felt uncoordinated, if you felt sloppy, if you felt out of breath, you did it. That is what mattered. Listen, no athlete gets to where they are feeling perfect all the time, I promise you. Even the ones that we think are so naturally gifted, and many of them are, they work for it. They work so hard. And I'm not saying you need to train like an athlete, but you can train like an everyday athlete, which is what we're doing with this October athlete, right? You don't have to do two hour practices or seven days a week or any of the crazy things that a lot of professional sports players do, but you can train in these different ways. Again, it all can be applied to our daily life. Those quick moves with our feet, again, we need that. Sometimes we have to react quickly. Sometimes we have to get out of the way of something. Sometimes we need to grab something falling from that top cabinet. And we want our joints, our muscles, our tendons, our bodies, our brains to be ready for that, right? So that is why we train for that. And also because it's fun, it's different. This plain old jumping jack, even though I love it, we don't have to do that all day long. We can make things interesting. So let me know in the comments if you liked this type of workout. We can certainly do more. If you like this one and you haven't tried cardio conditioning yet, try it, similar format in the one, two, three, 15, 30, 45, sort of half pyramid. But don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And again, let me know. I love to get feedback from you all. If you like something, if you're able, bring that foot up. If that feels like too much, just tap it down, tilt that in forward. Um, always helpful for me to know what felt good, what was challenging, what was fun, all of it. And of course, if you're looking for that extra support and accountability, check out Body Fit Athletic Club. Click the link in the description below. We do tons of fun things that go along with all of these workouts. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please get more of a stretch and a cool down if you have time for it. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your cardio agility workout. Great job, everybody.